Hi guys, today Guerlain video again. I wanted to review as three new fragrances from Guerlain, which I have smelled actually quite some time ago, but uh, only now uh, made the video. Basically, there are three fragrances, the new ones, the editions for Latte Mattia collection. And I was quite excited to smell them because um, they're oud fragrances. And if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of oud. But it's always, always interesting how different brands are playing with oud and what is the result. So basically, I'm always interested to smell something like this. So basically, it's very interesting that Guerlain did three fragrances. And um, the light one, the sort of medium one, and the very dark sort of oud. Let's say for me, uh, my favorite one is the lightest one, which has sort of not a lot of oud. So the lightest one is oud nude, and that's my favorite one. It's uh, the sweetest one, I think. It has a little bit of almond notes, um, a lot of vanilla. It's very soft, sort of warming, enveloping scent. So once I smelled it, I thought, oh my God, that, that's just a great, that's an amazing fragrance. So I'm not sure that's gonna be like uh, one of my favorite fragrances or anything like this. But if we talk about these three new fragrances, definitely, definitely Oud Nude is my favorite one. Now, the second fragrance um, in the line, which is Cherry Oud. And obviously, like when I heard the name, I was really, really excited about the cherry note. Uh, because, you know, cherry is an interesting note and it's not like too common in fragrances. So. When I saw a cherry wood, I was really, really excited and I sort of really expected um, to feel a lot of cherries in there. But, well, unfortunately for me, um, I didn't really feel that cherry vibe. I mean, it was a little cherry note, but definitely not that cherry that I was expecting. It is a great fragrance. I like it, but I don't think uh, there's going to be like my one of my favorite fragrances or anything like this so from these three as i said my favorite is the lightest one the sweetest like the soft sort of fragrance the first one oud nude cherry oud as i said great fragrance but not my sort of fragrance so and now the third fragrance is um the strongest one and i read a little bit about this fragrance so it um supposed to be like a really dark sort of a little bit charcoal um charactered fragrance um with the like really heavy oud and some interesting notes around it and um i knew i wouldn't like a really oody fragrance but that was not the case actually it was not the main reason why i didn't like this fragrance so much uh, at first, when I smelled it, I thought, oh my god, no, like it has my notes that I completely cannot stand in fragrances. So it's like a mere uh, frankincense or incense, like I just can't stand those notes, no matter how well they blend it, no matter in which proportions, I just can't stand these notes. So once I smelled it, I thought, oh, it, it should have mere or, or something like this, why I can't stand this fragrance? I read the pyramid, I read the ingredients, and it didn't really have any heavy doses of such things, but still I just can't stand this fragrance. Guys, it's just like my specification, like my nose, so from these three, um, I would certainly not choose the heaviest one. Even though the, um, I saw people um, in the store everywhere else where i have been seeing people smelling this fragrance they really really loved it so i think again it's obviously the matter of taste uh but for me i just can't stand this fragrance guys as i said and i think from these three um as i said the oud nude is just a great fragrance for maybe people like me who like sweet fragrances and not such uh, huge fans of oud so definitely try um oud nude so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos from me if you enjoy watching them subscribe to my channel and see you soon